So an L can always be a gnomon to a rectangle. An L shape like the shaded one I have can always be a gnomon to a rectangle. So when they ask for dimensions, they want to know this length. Oopsie. They want to know this length. This length here we know is going to be x plus 1 because it's across from the side that's made up of the x and the 1. And then we could call this piece y. And um, that's the only other unknown piece. Because I know the, the last side of the shaded gnomon is 9. So let's see if we can find the dimensions here. So I know that y actually has to be 6 because the opposite side is 9 and this piece right here is 3 so y has to be 6. So that's done. Now to find the x I'm going to do short to short equals long to long. Short to short equals long to long and the two rectangles that I'm comparing are the white rectangle and the glued together white and shaded pieces. So the short side of the white rectangle is a 1, and the short side of the large outer rectangle, this guy that I'm highlighting here, the short side of that is x plus 1. And then I'm going to look at the long side of my little white rectangle, that's a 3, and the long side of my large outer rectangle is a 9. And then I cross multiply to solve this. 1 times 9 is 9, and 3 times x plus 1 is 3x plus 3. And then I just solve and I get 6 equals 3x, so x has to be 2. So I have all of my dimensions.